high heat and dry conditions are keeping firefighters very busy. In the past week, firefighters with the Southern Stone County Fire Protection District responded to four different fires. KSBR's Mary Maloney explains how a simple task can spark a massive fire. When crews arrived, five acres of this field were on fire. They had to respond quickly before the fire got to any structures. It was pretty scary, and uh, I ran, got some hoses, um, just in case. Saw just how close this fire was coming to our property. Uh, I've got horses here, and uh, hay, and uh, it was pretty fearful, thinking of it it possibly coming over here. In little time, flames swallowed up five acres. By the time the first truck got here from Cape Fair, it seemed like forever, but it was only about eight minutes. Um, it, it had already almost doubled in size to about eight to 10 acres. Firefighters worked to stop the spread and protect surrounding animals and buildings. We knocked it down as rapidly as we could, and it extended into the woods, got into some of the cedar trees, uh, was topping some of the cedar trees, which was, uh, you know, in flames, up worth of 20 feet or so. Roughly 15 acres burned, but nothing else was destroyed. For Kim Cooper and her family, they will tend to the horses and leave their brush hog in the barn. There's a lot of rocks in the fields and you can't avoid hitting a rock. Oh, and dry grass, that's our big concern. It doesn't take much for it to get out of control. Some parts of this field are still smoldering. Firefighters say they'll keep a watch on the entire area to make sure there are no more flames. In Cape Fair, Mary Maloney, KSPR News. This is the second fire in Stone County this week caused by mowing. The first one was in Kimberling City when a field was mowed for this weekend's fireworks show.